My name is Martin Calvi and I live here in Kiel. Uh, I'm married to Angela, my wife, and we have um, eight daughters and two sons. <laughs> farm on four acres of green land and we have rights to 20,000 acres of opened on Finns land where we rear sheep and we farm strictly by the land that as I would say God made. We don't fertilize it, we just simply put the sheep out onto it. They're mountain sheep, they're black-faced mountain sheep that I uh, inherited from my mother after the death of my father. That was back in 1954. This is where I grew up and we have always farmed in nature. Generationally we go back seven generations, over 150 years of raising sheep here on the hills and mountains um, of Ackle Island. Um, so it's not something we do today because of a more recent, I suppose, awareness of nature farming. This is what we have been doing all our lifetime, my father all his lifetime and for generations back. Those sheep that we graze on, on the lands here are known as Mio Blackhead Yours. We have never introduced any new blood into those sheep in those seven generations. We have strictly just kept the one breed all through the years. They keep the ground in tip-top shape. They eat all the flowers, herbs. They even travel onto the seaweed along the seashore. And close to the sea seashore, we have the salty air where the grasses are different and sweeter. We have the max here that grows here and it wouldn't survive only because the sheep grazes those grounds. There has been trials done where they removed the sheep in other countries from the Mac here and the Mac here failed. So it's essential and it's important that those sheep graze those grounds. We don't use any fertilizer and the water that the sheep drink comes from the springs on the mountain. It's filtered as it flows downhill and it's not contaminated in any way. On the ground, we have an organized group. We're called the custodians of the commonage. We regularly walk the commonage in different areas at different times to make sure it's free from unwanted rubbish. And in instance where people might come for a picnic, we approach them and ask them to dispose of the rubbish when they're leaving and to leave the land as, we, as it they found it. We've been doing this for a very long time, you know, since 1962, my dad has had the abattoir and the butchers, and we've been promoting and selling Ackle Mountain lamb. And we have grown that reputation and built that reputation of the lamb meat as, you know, a top class product. And that it has the accolades it has, like gold from Bloss and Heron, three stars at the Great Taste, uh, among many others. You know, they are some of the highest accolades that any product can have. And that's the proof that, you know, farming in nature and respecting nature, because that I guess is, you know, the bottom line of what we do. We respect nature, we work with it, and um, it rewards us very well, that we can take this product and market it, and that it stands with the finest food products in the country.